Hey, yeah. Breezy came back on the tip. I would not play with no bitch. She just won't fuck off my wrist. I told that bitch she should quit. I was just writing your verses. So you was spitting my shit. I got that red and that green and that blue and that bitch go like that, 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 do. When I come with that drip and I got all that drip and you wanna play with me, I hit you with sticks. Hey. Breezy X keys on the way. Hope you don't get in our way. We just started a new wave. Swam with the fit. Louis Apparel, Seth got the kick. Israel Keys, he got the whip. Rod with the sauce, Taz got the mix. Torn just poured up that devil's whip. You cannot play, I'm a veteran. Niggas wanna try me, you know I ain't better than all of them niggas that you calling your friend. They ain't got hands, I ain't never seen them going. Always being solid, you would never see me folding. Check my neck and wrist, then you know that bitch frozen. Look at all these diamonds on me. Ooh. Look at my chains, you know they is gold. What is up, 360 crew? Back at it again with the new video. Yo, today, just got it in the mail. Just came home and I want a arrived, guys. Let me show you guys. Yo, I told you guys I had plans coming. I got, I bought an inflatable paint booth that just came in the mail with the two blowers. So what we're about to do is pretty much, I gotta go outside, make some rooms for it, set it all up, give you guys a good review of it, but my, I'm excited. This way I can expand my uh, knowledge of painting and start experiencing painting with other type of paints and everything and not have that, that, um, what, what word am I looking for? Not have that, uh, that, limit. that like that limit of painting in my garage. Uh, yeah. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's get it. All right, guys, check it out. So I went to Harbor Freight. I picked up a tarp. This is 19 by 29 feet tarp. It was only like 30 bucks. It's a four mil one. I'm not sure if I need anything thicker, but if I do, I'll just go back and get a thicker one. But I got the inflatable paint booth right there. We're about to unbox it. I'm gonna set you guys up, set it out, blow it up. And yeah, I'm excited for this. Let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. <laughs> Right, guys i got it all laid out um i gotta still hook up the blowers and i also gotta i guess i gotta hook up the windows um so that's what we're gonna now we're gonna hook up the windows i'm not sure if you could blow up without the windows um could try it but let's see guys i don't know how to set this up so i just gotta sit you guys down and then tell you guys what i did to it afterwards so let's get to it let's do it let's get it It has zippers. So this is a little four foot room that you could come and I can get my guns ready. I probably won't get them ready here. I'll probably just enter in here so I don't get dust. They enter in here. But this paint booth is a 28 by 15 by 10 foot uh, paint booth it's, it's the second to biggest i think the biggest is like a 20 by 30 uh, there's no way i have room for that much but for this price i paid about 1500 bucks for this um i did a lot of research a lot of research on which ones i wanted to get so some of them has the wall a uh, clear wall that has one little square like three foot by three foot uh, filter hole that the air the ventilation goes through so when i did my research about this they told me that a lot of people say the ventilation is not strong enough so i went with this one because this one is actually like a 10 foot by five foot big old filter so the ventilation shouldn't be a problem in here and then i went with this one too because the blowers to blow this up my research on youtube most of these paint booths come with the 950 uh i think voltages blower watts 950 watt blower to pump it up and then it comes with the 350 watt blowers for the ventilation people uh tell me to you got to upgrade the blower this one actually came with two 950 watts blowers the same size so my ventilation will be running with uh let me show you guys the blowers right now actually then uh i'll show you guys after i get done i'll show you guys the blower but the same blowers 
that's blowing this thing up is gonna be my ventilation but um yo i'm super excited to bring this to the channel i actually yo i've been wanting one of these for the longest time i did get this one from amazon i'll probably leave the link down below and then uh yeah so this is not only gonna benefit me it's gonna benefit my youtube channel it's gonna benefit my projects like you know friends family you know i want to learn so much stuff so that's what i'm doing i'm spending all this money to invest into myself and then um you know see where it takes me got me the equipment i need so i'm so happy and check out what else i got for the channel guys check it out i also went to go purchase a 60 gallon husky compressor that we're going to be using to paint cars now guys i'm trying to upgrade everything this i got at home depot at the tax of 615 dollars um it's not hooked up because i gotta hook up a 240 volt plug um yo i'm so excited you guys you know hell yeah guys so much more shit is gonna come to the channel now what we're gonna do is finish setting this shit up i want to set up the filter and i want to see how good the the airflow is in this so yeah i could you know give you guys a, a good like a good like a picture or a shot of this paint booth I have a pretty big backyard and this should take some pretty much half of my backyard but check it out guys hopefully the blower is not too loud so I can talk to you guys but yo I'm excited man we got a paint booth now I could probably do more than a restore and paint jobs and I'm excited so with all that said man let's get to it let's do it let's get it I'm gonna defreight this and I'm gonna go get some tubs the biggest uh like plastic tub I could find so when I'm not using this I could put it away and yeah, let's get to it, let's do it, let's yeah, get guys, it. guys, I literally put it, unplugged it about 10 seconds ago, and it's already deflated. So I'm gonna do something to the point that I could put some type of skeleton in here when I am painting. That's something to hold it up, just in case the breaker goes off, or something happens and the power gets unplugged, that it does not fuck up the car. Um, yo, I just unplugged this and it, it got deflated. It has zippers everywhere on the corners of it, so I could unplug it, uh, unzip it. And it could deflate more faster so i'm gonna do that right now and i'm gonna go see if i could get the biggest uh little plastic container they have at home depot and see if i could roll this up smart enough so it could fit because i know damn sir it's not gonna fit in this bag there's no way i can make a fit enough bag i already seen hundreds of reviews they they don't even do it on youtube they just they find a new box for it so that's what i'm gonna do right now so yeah let's go to home depot god damn look at that shit yo guys check it out today's the next day um i inflated a paint booth yesterday because before the sun went down but i got a couple hours of sun i'm about to spray a door i got some paint i got some clear coat i got single stage viper red paint uh from a wire back so we're gonna test this paint booth out see how good it is and see how good the paint job comes out so let's get to it let's do it let's get it check it out i got it all inflated up it only takes me about less than 10 minutes to put it up just gotta spread it out and once that blower up that blower just blows it up uh, install the windows and the filters and yeah let's get to it let's do it let's get it Right, guys check it out this part i had to mute the audio just because it was so much airflow in this booth and both of the blowers was on i have two 950 watt blowers that was on at the same time one to pump up the booth another one to have the airflow out this booth that goes into the filters um it was just too loud the noise was just way too much i had to mute it and give you guys a voiceover so all i'm talking about here guys is that when i did my research and my reviews everybody was complaining about the zippers these zippers, I make sure what I bought is 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 worth the money. 
um, I try to get every every cent's worth of the money I spend on this. The zippers are actually heavy duty. They're double stitch, um, both sides up and down, and it, I don't think the zipper is gonna be a problem on this booth. Another uh, issue I had with the filters, I got the 10 by five carbon filters. Most uh, paint booths come with those three by threes on the walls. I got the 10 by five, so I don't think the airflow is gonna be a problem in my case. Um, even though I haven't really tested it out, and I will test it out right now shortly on a car part, um, but so far the window, uh, I'm talking about the window right now, the window has an emergency exit, so if I need to, all I gotta do is pull a red rope on the window and the whole window comes out, and you guys already see me set it up, it comes down, it's all Velcro, the filter is strapped in with Velcro, uh, the window is strapped in with Velcro, Velcro, if I'm even saying it right, but check it out, I got an OEK door that came on the parts car the each the ek hatch that i'm actually using the donor car for my four-door ek hatch that video is coming soon uh, at least the video of me starting it coming soon but check it out all i prepped it a little bit i'm not really that much worried about how this door coming out what i'm really worried about the airflow to see if the airflow actually cleans out the boot pretty quick so that's what we're doing right now uh we're gonna test out the airflow and see how good it does so yeah with all that said you already know what it is, 360 Crew. Let's get to it, let's do it, let's get it. Sun's going down, I'm about to deflate this put it up um, we painted a single stage red check it out this is a single stage red paint uh, didn't come out that great I didn't expect it to I wasn't really planning on painting this I wasn't planning on getting a good good paint job I just wanted to test out test out the booth um, the airflow it's not that strong but I feel like I could make it stronger tweaking with it a little bit um, but yeah, it, it does the job, man. I mean, five minutes, I came in here, all the overspray was out. You can see it leaked through the filters. The paint job doesn't have that much dust on it. It does. Like, um, uh, you can see a little dust nips. The paint's not fully dry yet, but yeah, guys, um, I like it. You know, this is just a little test panel. I really wanted to test the airflow of the booth, and that's what I did, and it actually came out pretty nice. It had a good airflow doesn't have great airflow but it gets the job done and then um yeah i'm gonna be looking forward to doing better paint jobs in this thing so so yeah guys i'm stoked to see how my paint jobs come out fuck i don't know um i got so many things i want to do but with all that said man you already know what it is let's get to it let's do it let's get it yeah hey yeah breezy came back on the tip i would not play with no bitch no she just won't fuck off my wrist fuck it up. I told that bitch she should quit yeah. I was just writing your verses yeah. So you was spitting my shit Breeze. I got that red and that green and that blue And that bitch go like that, that, that do When I come with that drip and I got all that drip And you wanna play with me, I hit you with sticks Ay. Breezy X keys on the way keys. Hope you don't get in our way Scar. We just started a new wave, wave. Swam with the fit Louis apparel, Sev got the kick Israel Keys, he got the whip, ride with the sauce, Taz got the mix, Torn just poured up that devil's grip, you cannot play, I'm a veteran, niggas wanna try me, you know I am better than, all of them niggas that you calling your friends, they ain't got hands, I ain't never seen them going, always been solid, you would never see me folding, tap my neck and wrist, and you know that bitch frozen, look at all these diamonds on me, ooh, look at my chains, you know they is golden, look at all the blow, then you know I done sold it, need some new ice, then I let the jeweler mold it, she want